Today we are opening another heavy box. What's up guys, we are back with another epic opening. Today is going to be a pretty long video because the guy who sent us a ton of champion pack, tournament pack, stuff like that, several weeks, maybe probably months at this point ago, I will pop up the video on the screen. It was like a 50 minute video. He sent us another huge box to open up for him. I don't remember exactly what's in here, but I know it's a lot of packs. So let's get into opening this box and see what we're going to be opening. This is basically a huge mystery box. So first of all, we have Merry Christmas, probably late. Yeah, let's see what we are getting for late Christmas here. For our Christmas, we have, oh, whoa, is this Dark Legends? Loose pack, please open, thanks. Okay, wait, so is it ours or not? <laughs> So our first item we're opening today, this is the kind of stuff we're going to be opening. It's going to be a very nice video. Very nice packs will be open. So we're starting off with Dark Legends. This may or may not be mine. It feels like it was to me because it said Merry Christmas. But maybe he was just saying Merry Christmas. I'm not sure. Flame Sword has been very cool. We got Gaia the Fierce Knight. There are some valuable cards in here because this is a pretty rare set. 2008, basically the NA version of Retro Pack. So it's very cool. Hain Hain, Gazelle the King of Mythical, mythical Beasts. And we've got the Flute of Summoning Dragon. What a boring rare. <laughs> it's okay. Painful choice, but that's okay because we have a lot more good stuff coming up. Next we have four. Oh, this is for Ruxin. This is to honor Ghost from the Past 2. Oh, cool. And then we have a 20th Anniversary Legend Selection. Wait, okay. I guess we're going to open it. I mean, I don't know what this is, but it sounds cool. Twenty. I mean, one's to honor Ghost from the Past. Then we have a 20th Anniversary, which is... <gasps> Oh, is this in every pack? I don't care either way because that's a Starlight Prismatic. What do you call this? Wing Dragon of Raw Alt Art. Okay, okay, that was the Starlight. And then you get, oh, wow, those look good. The Gold Sark and the Dark Hole. Wow, talk about an epic pack. So that's for me. That's mine, guys. So thanks again, dude. That is absolutely awesome. I appreciate that. Very cool. Good start. Now to honor Ghost from the Past, another Christmas gift. Okay, I just destroyed that bow. I don't think I even needed to do that. So that just feels even worse. Uh, we have... Oh, no. You gave me this? Dude, are you sure? That... That's a nice card. Wow, Dark Magician Girl Ghost. Thanks again, man. That's a really nice gift. Oh, man, look what we're starting with. Premium Gold. Yeah, we're going to do everything one at a time because there is a lot of stuff in this box. I think it'll be easier. There's not stuff just everywhere all over the screen. There's high quality items in here, so we are hoping for some very nice pulls for him. So here we go. Premium Gold First Edition. Wow, what well, can you get in here? I know Premium Gold, I think, has really nice looking gold. Is that right? Oh, yeah, I, I do. Uh, actually... This one's kind of like borderline. I kind of like some of them. I don't like others. Uh, okay, the secret rare. These kind of do get a little brown over time. It's so cool. Number C15. Uh, gimmick puppet. Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. This is a cool card. And then a Spirit Reaver. Too good goat format or old old school format. I guess you could call them Time Wizard format now because of the new announcement about old school formats. What do I even sleeve up? I guess, I don't know. I'll, I'll try and figure out what I'm going to sleeve up. I'll just sleeve up the best stuff, I guess. Um, and then everything else will, you know, it'll still get into a, you know, team bag or whatever. So we got number 32, Shark Drake. We got the Power Tool Mecha Drag. I don't think I've ever seen that. Chronomaly City Babylon. Breaker, another good GOAT card. And Chimera Tech Overdrag. It's hard to read these names. I think that's part of the issue I have with these cards. Very hard to read them. They're like, they look like a diamond or something. It's crazy. This is going to be a long video, guys. A long video. Okay, Galaxy Ass Photon. Fortunately, I have a lot of time tonight to edit and stuff. So that, that's good. Shadow. We got the uh, Kaius, the Shadow Monarch, and a Trap Stun. All the all the Gold Series always has such good cards in it. We do have a giveaway. Curse of Dragon, Red Eyes Beat Dragon, and Blue Eyes by Dragon. If you just like this video, be subscribed. Let me know your favorite thing we open. I don't even know what's in here. So far, we've already gotten Gold Series and Dark Legends. Oh my goodness. Light and Darkness Power Pack. There's some big stuff in Dark Revelation 4, so let's see if we can get this open. I'm so excited. If you guys ever want to send something in for a you know an opening like this, I'd be glad to do it, especially if it's this old school stuff. Okay, yeah. This, is, this often happens with these promos they were not stored the best so a little bit of a bent up card there still really cool light and dark strike we'll send it in a sleeve you know we'll put it in there we'll respect it only two packs in this and these are like a hundred and something dollars now like they've gone way up they used to be like 40 for a long time and then they got really expensive so here we go let's see if you can pull like a secret rare out of here some of these even some of these regular foils are very expensive so let's see what we can get we've got a elemental hero neo bubble man we've got disciple of the Forbidden Spell. We've got the Dark Catapulter. Battery Man D. Jetroid. Oh! It is a 
secret rare satellite cannon. Oh, I've never pulled a secret out of this set. Okay, this is not like the best secret ever. But if you remember, if you saw my video where I spent $1,000 on TCG player, this was the satellite cannon that we saw that was like $150. So it's still pretty valuable. Oh my goodness, we got a secret rare. I don't even know if I've ever seen anyone. I know Tim, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube opened a bunch of these. I don't even remember him pulling a secret rare out of all this. Maybe like once. Holy guacamole. Let me say that again. That was insane. Holy guacamole. A secret rare out of Dark Revelation 4. Like, this is a, another Retro Pack, Retro Pack 2 kind of set where it's very limited and there's just some really nice reprints that are very valuable in here. So pulling foils is, it's tough, first of all, because you only get two packs or whatever. And then if you get something crazy like that, it's very valuable. We got a Beals Frog. Even some of these commons are worth a lot. We got a Psychroid, Raging Area, Cyber 2-2, Steamroid. So there's just a regular rare, but Pulling a secret rare out of two packs, I think that that counts as a win. Okay, good start. Next up, we have a cross sold special edition. Wow, there's a there's a ton of stuff in this, guys. We are going to be opening for a while. Like, honestly, could be an hour long video. I kind of hope it isn't <laughs> because it's going to be a lot of editing. And not that I don't love, guys. I have the best job ever. It's amazing. But editing every single day, it can be pretty tiring. Like, I'm usually up pretty late trying to make sure the video gets finished, which you know I enjoy doing it and stuff, but. Sometimes you, you think you have more time than you do. Like I'll start watching a basketball game or something and I'm sitting there. Oh yeah, I'll finish this video. And then I realize I have 20 minutes left to edit and it's, you know, 1 a.m. So, oh, Melody, that's a good card. Enough of the small talk. We got a super rare. This is actually a very good one because uh, there's not a ton of versions of this. I think it's maybe a $5 card. That's pretty good. Melody of the Awakening Dragon. Very good for those blue eyes decks that are not very good. <laughs> Cross Souls. We can't get the Ghost Rare in here. We can get uh, whatever he's called. The, uh, you know. The Ghost Rare. What's his name? The uh, Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. There we go. Moon Mirror Shield. Oh, it's after this. Abyss Stungray. All right. Now there's the Crystal Wing Synchro. There's the Clear Wing Synchro. There's the Crystal Clear Wing Synchro. There's a lot of Wing Synchros, okay? And they're Crystal and they're Clear and all that stuff. It's very confusing. We've got a UA Penalty Box. A uh, new appreciate for that card recently. I can't speak at all. Uh, Sujet. Suture Rebirth? And Cybernetic Fusion Support. Okay, we got the Performer Pals. Love to see those. The Dreadnought Dunka. Oh, yeah. Raid Raptor Mimicry Lenius. Yeah, this is going to be a very long video. We're, we're not even close to done. We have Raging Battles. Is this first edition packs? Sometimes these can be first edition. Let's see. All right, unlimited packs. We got, ooh, Allure of Darkness. Raging Battle just has the best cards, like promos. You got potential of an Error Vice Dragon. You've got uh, potential first edition packs. You know, all these are unlimited, it seems. Then you've got Ghost Ultis. Like, one of the most fun special editions ever made. Probably the most fun. Back when these cost, like... 15 bucks each i bought a 150 dollar box of like you know 10 of them it was just such good value because like and then at that point the comments had not been reprinted so there was like a ton of five dollar comments ten dollar rares like stuff like that so this is just a great set all right morphtronic vidion guardian it, the value has definitely gone up so it's not as easy to get your money back level returner and calming magic yeah back in the day so there were some sets you could open and maybe get your money back but now everything is so expensive you it's pretty tough so Unless you, of course, get like a Gosher or something. We've got the Black Whirlwind. Very cool card. We've got the GB Hunter. The Green Bay Hunter. We've got the Shura. Junk Box. Iron Core of Quacky Miro. Attack of the Cornered Rat. Didn't, oh, yeah. we. I was like, did we open this recently? We did. If you guys missed that video, go check it out. That was an insane opening. <laughs> Absolutely insane. That Raging Battle was about as good as it gets. Phew. Here we go. Wonder Clover. This is an... <laughs> there are some good packs we're going to be opening. Junk Box. Oh, that's just... Okay. Against the wind. Oh, man. Mermaid Archer. Okay. All regular rares there, but we did get the Allure of Darkness, which is pretty nice. Oh, there is a giveaway in here. All right. You guys get double giveaway. Okay. We have recovered the giveaway. Here it is. Oh, hey, that's weird. I just gave one of these away, didn't I? Wasn't it Slifer? Yeah, it was Slifer. Remember to like the video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite thing we open here to win that prismatic that's like a 60 dollar card back to dark legends and by the way there are more dark legends so there is a ton of dark legends coming out i'm gonna use scissors on this we have our two packs out and the gores is it bent actually it looks pretty good much better than the uh what was it the other promo i can't even remember what card it was at this point the uh light and darkness dragon two packs dark legends last time we whiffed well we got more chances there's also more in the box like i can tell you that i just saw it so we have a couple of packs here we've got the sneak bird tune world UFO Turtle. Grapekeeper Sir. Oh, gross. Send you a thousand hands. 
Scapegoat, super rare. Whoa, I've never pulled this. I bet this is actually pretty valuable. A super rare out of Dark Legends. Oh, wow. The pulls have been much better start than the last time, if you guys remember that last video. Go check it out if you didn't, but it was it was a marathon, and it turned out pretty good. Wow, look at all these cool cards. Blue Eyes Tune, Left Leg, and the Flame Swordsman. You also get a rare as well, so you get rare and a super. Cool. Wow, that's a good pull. Can we pull the blue eyes white dragon out here? There is a blue eyes. There's a red eyes, but it's a rare for some reason. I don't know why. We've got a painful choice. Giant true nade. Manga Ryu Ran. Mother Grizzly. Shining Angel. Got to be this one, right? Mega Morph. Wait. Okay, left arm, right arm. Nice. Man eater and right leg. Almost the ultimate pack. You can get an Exodia head in here. So you could get the Exodia head in the foil spot and then pull four limbs. That would be the craziest pack ever. Like as a kid, imagine pulling that. Okay, we have an oh, another cross souls. Okay, cool. More chances at the ghost rares. I think there is ultis in this, but this is the era where ultis were really rare. Like they were like one in three boxes. So they weren't that much. Uh, less rare than Ghost Rare. So we got a Chosen. We got the Return of the Red Eyes. That's a cool one. And then we got ourselves three packs of Cross Souls. Actually, some pretty decent, like, supers and stuff, like the Melody. And I think there was, like, a Unexpected Die in here. And then maybe, like, one other. I think there was another super. It was, like, really weird how many good supers were in this set. Fusion Conscription. Conscription. Oh, and we've got a Med Melda Branch of the Burning Abyss, the Drag Hig. So that's not a bad pull. We got a... Oh, Melodious. Okay. Uh, it's, it's weird how all these Duel Links cards that are really good are, like, comments in regular sets it's so funny because they're just not that good in real life we got a zephra infernoid half unbreak fluffle sheep zephra nui and infernoid prameus we've got a th not a, not a what am i trying to say with the th it's a uh, ultra rare it's like my old mic that I used to cut off my s's you guys remember that when i had this weird filter on it it was annoying it was very annoying <laughs> oh the super heavy samurai soul buster gauntlet yosin whirlwind Raid Raptor, Sharp Lanius, UA Penalty Box again. Sea Dragoons of Draconia. Oh, and a Necroz of Sophia. That's an ultimate rare. I was just saying how hard they were to pull, and we pull one. Necroz of Sophia is not too bad. I don't think this card's that good. I think it's kind of a bad Necroz card, if I'm right. I can't really remember, but I, th I think I remember seeing it as not a good one. But it's an ultra rare. That's pretty good. Going well so far, but now we have the GX Next Generation blister opening these is a real pain it's reminding me of the special edition this thing's kind of faded which is really cool the white horn dragon and now that we're opening the Yu-Gi-Oh gx generation next it's time to game on get your game on come on you better play your cards right game on get your game on we'll make the great and win this fight din -din 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 -din. okay all right let's let's hopefully we'll pull something after that that's why i did that for the luck oh and it worked Elemental Hero Wild Edge is just an ultra. It's not the ulti. I don't even know if you can pull the ulti out of these. Maybe you can because they're unlimited. But either way, Elemental Hero Wild Edge. That's an incredible elemental energy pull. From now on, singing the GX theme song will be the way to get good pulls. You saw it here first. All right. Amazing. Amazing. Shadows of Infinity or Shadow of Infinity. Not sh yeah, not Shadows. Death Rock. Silent Insect. Next to be lost. Elements Hero Neo Bubble Man. Just not, they already retrained the Bubble Man, like within one set. Option Hunter and Sam Sarah, like literally, I think it was like one set later, they retrained it. That's so weird. Um, Cybernetic Revolution. I mean, I guess it was in the show, so that's one thing, but like still. Dragon's Mirror. We could get a Cyber Dragon, Cyber and Dragon here. That would be crazy. Let's go. Pot of Generosity. Even Unlimited is amazing. Steam Gyroid. Conscription. System down. All right, system down. Poison draw frog. So far, the pulls have been fire, and now, oh, we have a chance for an ultimate ghost rare pull. And recently, we've had some pretty good luck with some ghost rares. We pulled one I never pulled before, so it's now it's time to pull one. The ill blood. Very nice. Let's see what we can do. We have pulled him some amazing cards so far, so let's see if we can get that ghost rare. That would be that'd be hard to top. That'd be really that'd be better than all the pulls we had last. Maybe I don't know. Those were pretty good last time. They were probably around the same price. Poison Chain. We got the Morphtronic Cord. Copy Plant. Goes in match. Good. Wow, that's in Crossroads of Chaos. I didn't realize that. Iron Chain Repair Man. Teleport. And Giant Trouble. I think it would be after the rare, the foil. I think so. Based on our video we did the other day. Were those European packs though? I can't remember. Two more packs. Horsey Tail. Let's get that. Black Rose Dragon Ulti would be crazy too. Fragrant Storm. Copy Plant. Iron Chain Repair. Same pack. Iron Chain Snake. Wow, that was. The exact same rare. Weird. Okay. Third pack. European pack. Give it to us. The European ghost rare. We would take that. Morphtronic Magnon. Power Injector. Confusion Chaff. See Deception. 
Mosaic Manticore, and Goblin Decor Squad. Okay, we, we whiffed there. That's okay. We whiffed on that one. And now we have another Dark Legends. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna probably need the scissors again. All right, we got it open. Those blizzards are a pain, but this one actually looks really nice, this promo. Very good, okay. Very nice promo, cool. Now we have two more packs of Dark Legends. We got a scapegoat last time. That was pretty good. Uh, can we top with an Ultra? There's no secrets in here, unfortunately. We have an MST, Gaia Power. I mean, all these nostalgia cards. Mother Grizzly, painful choice. Molten Destruction, Shining Angel, and Kazijin, regular rare. We got a Thunder Giant, Blue Eyes Tune, Left Leg, and the Trapple. He's definitely going to have the pieces of Exodia. Can we get the Exodia Head? I think it's an Ultra. Pretty sure it's an Ultra. Exodia Head is always an Ultra for some reason. Is there a Super Exodia print? There's got to be, right? I don't know if there is. Mother Grizzly, Shining Angel. It feels like it's always Ultra. Upstart, that's a good card. Metal Shooter. What? Why is this? It? What is this? Is this like, a, was this like a new card? Like everything else is from like the first few sets and then Metal Shooter? What? Yeah, that's certainly a weird pick there. Oh, another Raging Battle. Very nice. Is this first? No, not first edition. That would have been cool though. Here's where we could potentially pull the Vice Dragon. And by the way, if you don't know what that means, it was supposed to be a promo for the dual disc and they just put it in Raging Battle and never released the dual disc. So that's how rare it is. So that was the only time you could get it. And we got Allure of Darkness. We can't complain about that. So you could get a huge, like it's hundreds of hundreds of dollars, maybe like thousands at this point. So if you pull that out of a special edition, you are doing pretty well. Uh, so that was what I was looking for back in the day when I bought these, but obviously we did not get it, or that would be like one of the top pulls of all time on my channel. <laughs> okay, Junk Box, which eventually we will do a top uh, pulls of all time video again. Kalut, very nice. Calming Magic, and Natural, 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 what am I talking about? Natural Tune. Two more packs of the Power Tool Dragon Pack, which is also called Raging Battle, if you want to call it that, Guardian. <laughs> oh! It's the Power Tool Dragon back. I gotta keep messing stuff up. The Ultimate Rare. So the other day we pulled a Ghost Rare and an Ultra Rare, but no Ultimate. Today we have an Ultimate Rare to fill in that gap of the other one. Ultimate Rare Power Tool Dragon. Oh my goodness, this is a heck of an opening. We are having some great luck right now. We got the Calming Magic. Wow, yet again, another Rare. So far, here's like the pile of good stuff. Like Allures again. We got the Wild Edge. We got an Ultimate there. We got Scapegoat Super Rare. We got Satellite Cannon Secret from DR04. Insane. And now we have another pack. This has been really crazy. What a crazy video. Much better start than last time when he uh, sent us that crazy box. But uh, yeah, we'll take it. Magic Planner, another Super Rare. Very cool. We're going to plant that magic. Let's go. Very, very cool. Trap card is getting... Uh, disintegrated there we got the uh Kwaki miru and the giga omega if you guys were worried about not getting the black rose don't worry we got more we got more black rose dragon baby unfortunately for crossroads of chaos the promos are not that great so not too exciting about the harvest angel of wisdom but that's okay we got three awesome packs to open here let's see if we can get that black rose obviously the ultra rare would be cool the ultimate would be insane and the ghost rare we would probably pass out doppelganger it's, so far it's been a good start though so i I would still be shocked, but I would be less shocked. Cactus Fighter and Goblin Decoy Squad. Okay, we've had good luck so far. Crossroads has not been a part of that. It hasn't really done much for us. But now we've got the Gadget Driver. The Factory of 100 Machines. 100 Genzos in one factory. Not bad. Morphtronic Engine. Virus Cannon. Oh, a Seed of Flame. It's always the Seed of Flame that we pull. Come on. This card's wimpy. That's okay. Still an ultra rare, though. All right. Crossroads of Chaos. Let's do this. We've got ourselves a Wall of Ivy. Gadget Hauler. Plant Food Chain. Poison Chain. Paralyzing Chain. And a Nettles. Okay, just a Nettles. Not too much in there. We did get a Seed of Flame this time. All right. On to the next one. We have, ooh, Samurai Soul. You guys know I love this one. We've opened two entire boxes of this. Uh, there's some pretty awesome stuff in here. And then the promo is always the same. So not too much suspense with that one. We have the elder of the six samurai very cool now we get into our three samurai packs ragnarok crimson crisis and strike of neos let's go ragnarok odin never pulled that ghost rare I f <laughs> why do i feel like we pulled it we didn't actually pull it vylon matter t soul we pulled max c i guess she and scheme she and smoke signal that's a good one there he is with the ultra rare form we're pulling the cover card a lot today own and father of the acer very nice we will take that very very good wow what a pull needle ball okay all right on to crimson crisis let's go this is pretty uh it's a pretty good opening overall assault slash now we just need a ghost rare. let's do this i've heard in sanctuary we could get the uh what is he called 
the uh, the red eyes arch fiend guy, whatever his name is, in Mado. Dark Strike Fighter. This card was uh yeah, this card was banned, I think. So it had some sort of burn way to burn you to death or something. Dark Strike Fighter, that's a cool pull. What is he called? The Red Dragon Arts Fiend Soul Mode. There we go. Strike Neos. Now it's time. You guys know what time it is. Air Neos time. Time to air the Neos. Let's do this. This is a very tough pack to open because the Air Neos does not want to be pulled. It knows it's rare. Marionette Might. Yuriza. Ebon Steed. Zanji. Cloak and Dagger. All right, Alien Psychic. You can pull a rare and a foil in those, though. We, we learned that last time. It's time for another GX. This went pretty good last time. We got a Wild Edge. Okay, we've got another Whitehorn Dragon promo. Very nice. This one looks like it's in pretty good condition, actually. So we got that one out successfully. Then we have, oh, the Elemental Energy, Cybernetic Revolution, and Shadow of Infinity. Let's try Shadow of Infinity first. Can we pull a Sacred Beat? Have I ever actually done that? I don't think I have. Somehow, even I've opened two or three boxes, and they always have the Cyber Laser or no Ultra every single time. The other three Ultras are Sacred Beast. Somehow I can't pull them. Man Eater, Eating Ant, the Neo Bubble Man Retrain. Success probability zero. Next to be lost. And the Doom Dozer. This card actually went up a ton. I don't know if the rare is up a lot, but Sam Sarah, that would be a good ulti pull. I think it was like, I sold one for like 80. 80 for an unlimited card. That's not bad. It's not bad at all, especially when that card used to be like $2. So we've got the, uh, the Hida. League of Uniform Nomenclature, Nano Breaker, Branch, Rapid Fire Magician, the VW, OJ Magic, and W Wing. I remember I opened a ton of these one time and I pulled like nothing. They're very tough. I mean, it's GX, which already has bad pull rates, and then it's like retail ulties too, so it's really hard to get something good. Battery Man C, we got the Jet Roid, uh, I IOE. I think it's re re uh, retail ulties. We got a BES Crystal Core. Wow, that looks a lot different than the commons. Like, it's very, very dark. I like the look of this card, though. It's not one you want to hit out of CRV, but it's a very cool card. It, didn't we hit one of those? We hit, like, that and, uh, that and, uh, UFO Roid in our hobby box. So that was an absolute nightmare. We've got another Cross Soul. So there's a ton of special editions in this opening, which is fun. You guys know I love special editions. The randomness is fun. We opened every single special edition. If you have not seen that video, go check it out. Uh, it was long. It was one of our longest ones. I mean, there's a reason these special editions take forever to open. It's because you got to open the box. got to look at the promo. you got to open a few packs. So it takes a lot longer than just opening like a booster box or something. Edge M Chain. Hormone Pal Thunder Rhino. UA Penalty Box. Lizard Draw. Zinju Oyama. That card's kind of good. And Dual Links. Clearing Synchro, another cover card, ultimate rare. Oh my, I'm in the middle of chit-chatting. Every time I'm doing that, I pull something good. Wow, clear wing synchro ulti. Our pulls have been crazy. I feel like I just like cut myself somehow while opening that. I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't seem like I did, but okay. Kind of hurt, but uh, it's worth it for the ulti. That's all you got to do. We got the sharp lanius. Statue of Anguish pattern. Gauntlet. Oh, I rocks in special. Ray Raptor, Blaze Falcon. And the Fright for Fury. I ruined it. It's my fault. Sorry, guys. Final Cross Souls pack of this special edition. I don't know if there's more or not. There might be. Thunder Rhino. UA Penalty Box. Lizard Draw. Zephroxa. The Zephroxiton and Magma. That was, did not seem like the right way to say that, but we got an Ultimate Rare cover card. That was a pretty good special edition. Okay, what is this? Oh, Order of Chaos. Not opened a lot of this, so this would be fun. Oh, this has Utopia Ray in it. I hate this card so much. All right, what's the promo? They, oh, they actually sleeve it. Oh, the Winged Dragon Raw. I remember that. That's actually a pretty nice promo. Three packs. These are unlimited. But either way, we're looking for a Gosher Ultimate Rare. I think there are some actually decent cards in here. I think this came out in 2012. I remember this being one of the old packs you would get out of the mystery boxes in like 2017 or 2018. Dig in Force, Royal Prison. Dark Diviner. We've got a Synchro. Very cool. Wait, was this before Xyz? 2012. When did they come? No, they came out in 2011. Is that right? Yeah, Generation Force. Okay, so this was after that. There were Xyz in this. Okay. Yeah, Xyz are pretty old now. Over 10 years. We got the Curry Vault. Cool to see that. Insector Ant. Aqua Armor Ninja. Was this when Insectors were good? I think it was. This set. Mass B... Not Mass Beast. Mass Ninja Abisu. That's a different card. Interplanetary Purpley Thorny Dragon. You'd love to see that guy. And the Final Order Chaos out of the Special Edition. What can we pull? So far, we've pulled nothing. We've got the full four strike. Sucktopus. <laughs> The Shocktopus, not Sucktopus. Sucktopus would be a better name. Galaxy Wave, KK Guard, and Starlight, Starbright. Back to the Legends. Gore is the Emissary of Darkness. Very nice secret rare. You know, you guys know. We've seen a few of these today. Then we've got two Dark Legends packs. Here we go. 
Oh, look, Exodia staring at us. I think it has a little ding at the top. It does. It's dinged at the top. That's a bummer. All right, give us the head to uh, make a... <laughs> Let's continue on. Flame Sportsman, Guy the Fierce Knight. Nobody's watching anyway at this point, so it's all good. No one heard that. Penguin Soldier. Oh, that's a cool card. And send you of the Thousand Hands. Giant Germ and Giant Rat right next to each other. Okay, next Dark Legends. Yeah, don't worry. I don't have to worry about anybody, like, time stamping that or anything, so it's fine. Uh, next pack, we got the Mystic Tomato. Giant Trunade. Upstar Goblin. Rising Air Current. Nibble Bumonga. Black Illusion Ritual. Oh, Relinquish! And Red Eyes. I think Red Eyes is like $15 or $20 as a rare, which is really weird. I don't know why. I guess because it's so hard to get. But Relinquish, that's a good card. And a Red Eyes. We're sleeving this up because I know it's pretty valuable. Because I've pulled a few of these as a rare. Very cool. Relinquish, that's a good pull. Wow. And Double Elegant Egotist, Summon Skull, and Gaia. All right. That was, that was a pretty good pack. We had another Order of Chaos here. Let's see if we can get something better than last time, which was nothing. We didn't really get anything at all. We did get, of course, the uh, Winged Dragon Raw promo, which was good. Even though at this point they've printed it, you know, Wing Dragon Raw so many times. It doesn't really matter, I guess, but it's still cool. Oh, Veiler's in here. No. Plus, it's a nice looking super rare version, which is really cool. So let's see what we can do here. That's a good start to this uh, special edition. Good options. Wing Dragon Raw Effect Veiler. Very good. Galaxy Wave. Splash Capture. Photon Lizard. Oh, number 12, Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja. Oh, this has, like, nice texture to it. Ooh, this is actually a pretty nice card as well. Very cool. The Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja. This might actually be good with, like, old formats, I think. Because I think a lot... Not a lot, but there are several decks or, like, old school formats that would use that card. That's cool. It's Shaolin. So that's probably a pretty good pull as well. We'll see how the Time Wizard format actually affects the market or whatever and see if it, like, gets really expensive or not. But very cool. That's a good pull. Ultimate Rare. Galaxy Storm. We got the Ceiling Ceremony of Catan. Dark. Photon Leo. Reverse Buster, and a Zen Mailstorm. Very cool. Final pack of this special edition. We got a Veiler and an Ulti. I mean, you cannot really complain too much about that. So far, it's been good. Curry Volt, Primordial Soup, Sweet Corn. Ah, <laughs> Sweet Corn's there. Blairu, Gagagard, Earth Armor Ninja. All right, not too much. Qualo, Qualo. Yeah, there are XCs, but it seems like they're all high rarity. Raging Battle. I hope you guys are enjoying the long video because, uh, yeah, it's it's going to be a, a lot of effort for sure. It's definitely really cool to open up all this stuff. So if you guys are enjoying it, make sure to subscribe because we will have more epic openings like this in the future for sure because that's what we do. Quacky Mirror Guardian, we got the Scope and Overdoom Line, Hedge Guard, Calming Magic, and Wrecking Power. Okay, Calming Magic, that's like the third time we've pulled that, maybe even more. Oh, we dropped it. That means there's a Ghost Rare in there every single time. We have the Kalut Legend, Crimson Fire, Phoenixian Seed, Gadget Arms, Iron Core of Quacky Mirror, and the Alien Dog. All right, we, we did already pull the cover card, Ultimate Rare. So, like, what more can we really hope for? This has been a good set to us recently, though. Just to people were, and it's when we're opening for other people, though. Like, when it's for me, it's, you know, it's chilling out. We got, but now it's crazy. Level Returner, Emissary from Pandemonium, Phoenixian Seed, Against the Wind, and Iron Core Immediate Disposal. Okay, over three on that one, that's fine. One more of these. We've got another GX Next Generation Special Edition. Okay, we got another Whitehorn. I think it's our third, and now we get into the packs. Let's start off with the Shadow of Infinity. So far, yet to give us anything, I think. So we're going to need to step it up, Shadow of Infinity. Let's see what you got. DD Guide, not a bad comment. Silent Insect. Manila Malice Ascendant. Photon Generator Unit. Proto Cyber Dragon. That'd be a cool ulti. Very cool ulti for sure. We've got the Cybernetic Revolution. We switch up the order every time. So, uh, yeah. Now we're going to end with Elemental Energy and see if that changes anything. Drillroid. Cyber Archfiend. Patroid. Magical Explosion. Another cool ulti, but that's not going to happen. We're on to the Elemental Energy. Let's see if we can pull. What do we want? Shining Flare Wingman? I mean, we've already pulled Wild Edge. So that's pretty good. Blade Skater. Be beige. Beige. Yeah, that's right. Boss Rush. Zero Knight of Dark World. Anchathonian Blast. All right, we went over three on that one, but that's okay. It's been a good opening. Now we have Black Rose potential. All right, Black Rose pack. We got another Ill Blood. Very cool. I like this one better than the other promo for sure. Three packs. Ghost Rare Black Rose out of the Black Rose pack. Whew. Revival Gift. Electronic Magnet. Fusion Chaff. Power Injector. Mosaic Manticore. Wall of Ayu. Have we even pulled the foot? No, we did. We pulled the seed. We pulled the, the seed of whatever it's called. I can't remember the. What is that guy called? I already forgot. Let's not pull him again. I don't. I don't want to remember. I don't want to remember his name. Uh, Doppelganger, Horsey Tail, Healing Wave Generator, Seed of Deception. Not that one. Fire's Cannon, 
Oh. Got, got something going on in there? I don't know. Oh, Rose Warrior of Revenge. Little of Revenge. Of Revenge, I cannot speak. Uh, it's the same ultras that we always seem to pull, it feels like. I've never pulled a Plague Spreader, I don't think. I just pull these same ones. It's weird. It's like, those are harder to pull. No one can I mean, They probably are. They're probably short printed or something. But uh, I guess we'll find out maybe one day. Uh, copy plant. Gadget hauler. Let's get that gauche rare. Doppelganger. Iron Chain Repairman. Oh. 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 Red Ogre. <laughs> it was stuck. I couldn't get it. Uh, couldn't get it there. Uh, Red Ogre. All right. Not the most exciting card, but it is a super rare. It looks like I have more gifts. So um, I don't. This one's kind of large. So this is this the. Wait a second. So another Ruxin gift. This is this is exciting. I'm Ruxin, so we'll see. We've got a legendary collection too. Binder. Check this out. This is so cool. I don't know if we're gonna open this because we're already at like a 50 minute video. So we might save this for a future video and we're gonna open it at some point. This is really cool. I can't really let me this is really cool, guys. Check that out. That is so cool, dude. He did not tell me he was like sending me stuff. So that's that's really cool. We have another thing. That's three Ruxin gifts. Oh my gosh, this is why this was so heavy. What is this? This is the last item too, so it looks like, oh, whatever this is. This is so heavy, like, it's like a brick. Monster art box, what in the world is this? Here's what it looks like, I'm gonna show it up here because it's gonna be dead, whoa, check that out. Okay, it looks like you open it this way. So it looks like these are books, so inside it's artwork? of the cards Kazuki Takahashi artworks whoa check this out whoa check this out so it's like the manga uh cool legend story oh whoa look at these oh my gosh look through that all that okay we, we're obviously not going to go through every second but look at that wow that's insane that's the Kazuki Takahashi artworks then we have the OCG artworks, which I figure, you know, they're the censored ones. Pretty cool. Uh, okay, so it's more of the same, but it's OCG instead of Kazuki Takashi. Very cool. Um, check all that out. Just really, oh, wow. That, look at that levy in here. Where was that? Look at that. That's insane. I don't know if how well you guys can see this. And then all some of the ghost girls. That's insane. And then we have the final one. This is just called the art collect, the card art collection. It's huge. Oh, and it has all the cards. Look at that. It has all the cards. Oh my goodness. That's so freaking cool. All of them, like in the card artwork. I see what I see what it means now. Wow. Wow, that is so cool. Kaz, I don't know if I even said his name earlier, but thanks again for sending this in for the opening and the gifts for me. I really appreciate them. Those are really, really cool. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe because we have some epic openings coming up. Make sure you guys thank Kaz in the comments. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Zone Flow Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Duelist Kingdom Cards, Spanky the Farlet, and G Raider. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.